All right. Welcome to day 13 of Avila Code. We're almost halfway through at this point. Uh, after we finished task one today, we're halfway through. I changed my shark game. Now we've got a picture of a camel. And it's an Ahrefs shirt, which is interesting because one of the sponsors of Animal Code. So, shout out to Ahrefs. They do good stuff. They make nice t-shirts. What's not to like? Anyway, let's look at today's stats. Huh. Similar to yesterday's problem. We can see that, you know, really tapering off. Now we're 10%. Or like 20% of what solved the first problem. So... Yeah, we'll see what happens. All right. Day 13. Let's grab this example right away. Wait, these are just lists, no? Not bad. Easy to parse. Okay. Uh, we climbed the hill and again tried to contact the elves. However, yeah, so yesterday we had this BFS thing to find the hill. However, instead, you initiate a signal, but it's just a signal. Your tentative device must still not be working out. The packets come from the testing got decoded out of order. You'll need to reorder the list of received packets, your personal input, to decode the message. Your list consists of pairs of packets. Pairs are separated by a blank line. You need to identify how many pairs of packets are in the right order. Oh no. Uh, but there's not a list. It's like a list of, oh my god, there's different types here. Packet data consists of lists and integers. Each list starts with a, a bracket, ends with a bracket, and contains zero or more comma separated values, other integers, or other lists. Each packet is always a list and appears on its own list. Okay. Blah, 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 blah. Let's just start. Oh, happy Lucia! Yeah, Santa Lucia is a big deal here in Sweden. Alright, let's start this parser. Okay. Data input equals a int i int or a, a list of input. Lay of input. Driving show. Okay, the instance instance read in input where. Now we go back to day twelve. We steal what we have there. Ah, well, it's just a easy one. We steal what we have here. Ding 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 ding. Okay, and now we need to import a text.parser combinator and read rec uh, read rec to s import qualified parser text.parser combinators Reprec Reprec as RP Okay, where parse equals a so to parse an input it's a choice of ding 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 parse int or parse input Parsley input. Now, okay. Pars int equals reads uh, read as at int. Uh, then uh, okay. For qualified take that parser combinators. Read P. 
And now this one is supposed to be choice. Uh, oh, this is not supposed to be quality. Now let's do uh, read as to P reads at int. Or, no, I don't have to parse int, so it's gonna be either one of these or parse a list of input. So, parse li input is equal to do char we open the list then we do sep by sep by and, and the sep by here is so we do parse char comma raise char and then we do return li li res now it doesn't like this because this will be a list of ints oh. oh no this is actually i over no, I think this is how you read the input. Now, let's uh, read input is going to give us okay. It's going to take us a file path, and it's going to read. Okay, nice. Nice. actually, it's always pairs, right? Let's. Uh, I think we're supposed to do some new pairs. That's okay. Okay, so it's always pairs. Let's just copy this directly to uh, input right away. Okay, now file path, a IO list of pairs of input. Equals a read file. Uh, lines if may have lines and then we do a uh, to do the steal the chunks function I did really have a kind of like a util thing um, instead of copying it again and again right Mm -mm -mm, but I don't uh, I haven't done it. Let's do that next time, huh? Maybe today we have time. Okay, uh, chunks. Now we're gonna do chunks three, and then we are gonna say uh, where F. Uh, so F uh, A B uh, empty list A B so it's gonna be empty string equals um, uh, read at input A reads at readers at input F mm -mm -mm -mm. Mm -hmm -hmm. So F should probably have a different type Let's see, F takes a list of Ah, I need to map F here F takes a list of strings and returns a pair of input. And 
Okay, the prob what is the problem here? Read. Why is it there? Pretty much have it has a Ah, this is just read actually. Now do read input example into print C D D thirteen G G Oh D thirteen D thirteen dot H S and Tang D thirteen Ding 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 Okay uh, Yes Seems like it uh, managed to parse everything so First pair is these lists and it's a list of list of I1 and then list of Okay, not bad So parsing Check Okay, now Your list consists of pairs of packets Pairs, how many pairs of packets are in the right order? It's a packet. Okay. When comparing the two values, the first value is called left and second is called right. Then, if both values are integers, then the lower integers will come first. If the left integer is higher than the right integer, then the right integer. otherwise the inputs are the same integer. Okay. Could you check in? Both values are list. Then the second value is on the list. Left based on the lines first, and the right order. The right list. In the first, the input is in the right order. If the lists are the same length, and no comparison makes a decision about the order. Okay, so this is just going to be convert the integer to a list. If the exactly one value. Ah, so if one is an integer, and then the other one convert the integer to a list which contains that integer as its only value, then we try the conversion. Okay. Uh, okay. So compare input, comma input. Ooh. Okay. Compare. Uh, if both values are integers. Um. So let's just I N I A left I right equals Okay if we compare the if the lower integer is if, uh, if the left integer is higher than the right integer mm, Okay this should just return an ordering actually equals compare L R right? Ah uh, no. Bracket. Uh, can I just write an instance or uh, instance or a uh, input where? Compare I L comma I R equals compare L R. Okay, so we're just comparing to Okay, and we can derive EQ. Okay, so we compare two integers, the lower integers will come first. Yeah. GGI uh, compare one, two. So it should be less than. If the left integer is higher than the other, otherwise, inputs are both values are list. Compare the first value of each list, then the second value, and so on. Okay, then we go. 
compare a uh, add some list a I just do the basic list li a so if but the, if the lists are the same length and no comparison makes a decision about the order, continue checking the next part of it. Okay. Equals. Yeah, this is EQ. Compare li. Uh, so if I have a value here, but I don't have a value on the left. Li. So if if the left list are on the right and first, the inputs are in the right order. Okay, so, so we're using less than and in the right order, or greater than and in the wrong order. Compare. Okay, ally. Now, if they both have an element, x, left, l, r, l, else, and ally, a, r, r, s, equals. Case compare L LS do 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 to compare of uh, to compare the two of uh, if it's less than then if the right list runs maybe maybe this is just arriving word okay if the lists are the same length then okay if the left list runs on items first then the in right order. the right list runs so the uh, items first the inputs are not in the right order if the lists are the same length and no comparison makes a decision about the order continue checking the next part of the input okay so if it's eq then compare L E L S A L E R S. Otherwise, return. We just return the. Uh, otherwise, a uh, A R S return right. Okay, and now compare L I A L E. And I e equals compare L I L E uh, oh, act okay. Oh we actually uh, we don't have we don't we didn't just do it like this. L I L I E So we keep, keep, yeah, done both cases. Mm. We should flip this case also, just to make sure. Okay, and list the, then we compare these two. What is wrong here? Uh, compare, okay. Compare AI LED equals compare LEI. Okay, so I think we, we covered all the cases now. Now let's see. Um, what if we do now uh, task one? Input to input to. Uh, okay, let's just. Let's just do a digit type curve uncurry. Print map uncurry compare dot a. Uh, I think I 
think it's just map reading, but we didn't put. Yes. Okay. Print map on curry compare. Let's try that. Less than, less than, greater than, greater than, less than, greater than, less than, greater than. Okay, let's see. So left side is smaller, right person right order. So less than, less than. Okay. Okay, now task one. It's going to be pool to pool. Task one equals... Uh, okay, so, so we got... LT, LT, GT, GT. So the right, so right order, right order, not in the right order. Uh, left side, right and right, and so right, right, right. Uh -huh. mm -hmm. Oh. Okay, so these cases are swapped actually. GT, LT. Yeah, I'm gonna compare. Yep. Yep, dog and EQ. Again, you fix that bug. Oh, no, what? This so should be equal to LT. True, true, false, true. True, true, false, true. True, true, false, true. False, true. Okay, so true, true, false, true. False, true. True, true, false, true. False, true. False, false. What are the indices of the pairs that are already in the right order? Oh my god. Okay. So we take this. Sip one. In Filter S and D map FST uh, and then we take the sum. We get thirteen. What do we get for the input? Five three three zero. All right, task one done in twenty minutes. This is going swimmingly. Now let's see if we actually uh, uh, okay. Now I just need to put all of the packets in the right order. This is going to blank grinds in your list of received packets. Okay, so we are going to put them in order. Okay, so task one, task one, task two. Take a pair of inputs. Input. Uh, input, comma, input. Uh, task one equals map swap uh, mk so uh, order where uh, where um, order of uh, a comma b is equal to min a b max a b map order so now they're all in the right order. 
You can organize all the packets. The ones in your list of respects will to divide your packets into the correct order. Oh. For the example, the result of putting the packets in the correct order is... What? But there's no divider packet in this example. Oh. Okay, so I'm just supposed to sort the whole thing. Okay, so we just map a... It's in the right one. Yeah, okay, cool. Ah! Merry Christmas, Angular developer! Angular developer has been with us for so many days. I like it. Okay. Okay, so I just, I add the divider packets. Okay. I just add it to the example list. I guess I say list list two list list six. <sighs> seven seven okay. So we added the divider packets. Afterward, uh, locate the divider packets to find the decoder key for this distract signal. Okay, let's just not add them here. Let's a. Uh, We're just gonna add them on the end, uh, or in the beginning. D one, D two, D one, D two. Concat map. Why doesn't it like this? D1 equals what it did say. Yeah, so this is Lee. Oh my god. Lee. Uh, Lee. Two. Lee. Lee. Uh, Lee. Lee. E2 D6 A Lily D6 Um We add them at the end Okay, they get at it Now uh, for example, the order is after looking at divider packets. To find the decoder key for this, you need to determine the indices of the two divider packets and multiply them together. The first packet is index one. The second one is index two. Okay, so we don't even need to sort. We can just quick select. But uh, let's not do that. Um, Let's say, uh, 
where a input in sorted equals and we have to say input 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 sorted okay but now we're gonna say hugo find indices okay uh, uh, now let's go back here find indices okay so uh, find indices uh, input uh, uh, i equals d2 or i equals d6 sorted Okay, so here we get 9 and 13. Uh, 10th and 14th. Oh. Right. So, because finding this is, well... What is this? Um, map plus 1. So, we just add by 1 because indices started at 0 in Haskell. And then we do product. Hundred and forty. Which is exactly one hundred and forty. Okay. Now let's do it for the input. Two seven six four eight. All right, we completed day two, day 13, and we're more than halfway through. Took us half an hour, and why? Well, because uh, Haskell is super good at uh, when comparisons and sortings and data types and all that. Well, okay, I thought it would be harder today. Anyway, I'm glad it was not. Nice to have a bit of a break from, uh, I don't even need this function here. Okay, uh, now let's write this utils function. So let me create a new file here, util.hs. Okay, module util where Do, 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 do. Let's uh, write the chunks on here. Now, how do I... Uh, can I... I cannot refer to it, right? Unless I do like... Uh, what if I do GHC on oh, day 13? Day 13, day 13 dot HS. Time, day 13. I'll be in the wrong directory. Oh my god. Ah. Uh, day 13 exe. Okay, so, uh, what is here?
Ah. Uh, but now it doesn't work because these are all supposed to be in. Okay, nice. And now, can I do, uh... Import utils. Can I do it like this, no? Ah, sweet. Okay. So now we just do it like this. Uh, we have this util file here. Um, and then we'll use that instead, right? What else can we... Um, what else can we... What else can we do here? Okay, I think we'll keep it like this for now. Now let me go do a uh, day 13, day 13.hs, .hs, day 13 input, day 13 sample, git add util.hs. Okay, um, some people have written, I know, like, uh, they will get the example. Like they have a tool that like down. Anyway, let's just leave it here. Um, all right, I think we're good. Git status, rm, rf. Let's push it, git. No, what do we do? Rm, day. Just let's delete all these binaries. Day one. RM day two, day two. RM day three, day day three. Day four, day four. Day five, day five. Day six, day six. Day seven, day seven. Day eight, day eight. Day 9, day 9. Day 10, day 10. Day 11, day 11. Day 12, day 12. Day 13, day 13. Git status. Now, we will always just do like GTOXA. Uh, day 13. Uh, day 13.hs, right? And then we will time the exit. Git status. Uh, RM day 7.7. Alright, git. Okay, then RM chess and chess.hs and day 13. Git status. And now let's add to the git ignore code dot git ignore. We add this exit. Git status. Git add dot git ignore. Okay, this is a better organization, right? Git commit am day 13. Git push. And now we write git status and there will be nothing. Okay, cool. That was it for today. Um, quick and easy. But thanks for tuning in. And uh, let's hope it keeps being this easy. But, you know, the past couple of days have been hard. So good to have an easy one to kind of keep our spirits up. All right. Thanks for today. And, uh, yeah, see you tomorrow for some more streaming. All right. Bye-bye.